Number 1. Ryzen 3, the starter tier. Ryzen 3 launched as AMD's budget answer to Intel's Core i3, starting with the Ryzen 3 1200 in 2017 at just $109. Four cores, clean performance, and suddenly building a functional PC didn't require draining your savings account. Most models pack four cores and eight threads, enough for web browsing, Netflix streaming, Discord calls, and light gaming like Minecraft or League of Legends without your PC sounding like it's preparing for takeoff. The problem isn't Ryzen 3 itself, it's the expectations people put on it. Someone buys the cheapest CPU on the shelf and then wonders why it struggles with 4K editing and cyberpunk at Ultra. That's like buying a budget scooter and being disappointed it can't tow a boat. Ryzen 3 has a job, and it does it well. As long as that job isn't be a workstation. What confuses people is expecting $120 to perform like $300. A Ryzen 3 3300X can handle Valorant at 1080p just fine, but Cyberpunk 2077 at ultra settings? That's not what you bought. Pair Ryzen 3 with 16GB RAM and a fast SSD, and even budget builds feel surprisingly responsive. Think browsing with 20 Chrome tabs, Spotify running, and Zoom calls without stuttering, making them the entry point for students, office PCs, and first-time builders who need reliable performance without drama. Number 2. Ryzen 5 – The Sweet Spot Ryzen 5 is where AMD's lineup stops being polite and starts getting real. 6 cores, 12 threads, and the performance to price ratio that made Intel panic. The Ryzen 5 1600 launched in 2017 at $219, giving budget builders 6 cores when Intel was still charging $350 plus for the same. Then came the legendary Ryzen 5 3600 in 2019. $199, brutally efficient, and it sold like AMD was giving away free performance. By the time the 5600X hit in 2020, Ryzen 5 had become the default choice for gamers worldwide. It could handle 1080p and 1440p gaming at high settings, stream on Twitch, edit YouTube videos, and run Discord without breaking a sweat. Current generation picks like the 7600X or 9600X continue the tradition. Starting around $200 to $280, they deliver the gaming performance most people actually need without paying for cores they'll never use. Here's the truth. 90% of gamers genuinely don't need more than Ryzen 5. Modern games rarely use more than 6 to 8 cores effectively, so jumping to Ryzen 7 or 9 just for gaming is like buying a semi-truck to commute to work. Sure, it's impressive, but you're paying for capacity you'll never touch. Ryzen 5 fits gamers content creators starting their YouTube channels, students who game after homework, and anyone who wants a PC that just works without overthinking the specs. Number 3. Ryzen 7 – The Power Player Ryzen 7 sits in AMD's high-performance tier with 8 cores and 16 threads as the standard across every generation. The Ryzen 7 1700 launched in 2017 at $329 giving content creators workstation class core counts without workstation prices. By the time Ryzen 7 3700X arrived in 2019 at $329, it was destroying Intel's Core i7 in productivity benchmarks while running cooler and quieter. Then came Ryzen 7 5800X3D in 2022, AMD's first 3D vCache gaming monster that proved you didn't need Ryzen 9 core counts to dominate frame rates. More on that later. Current-gen Ryzen 7 chips like the 7700X or 9700X pack base clocks around 4.0 to 4.5 GHz, boost clocks hitting 5.4 GHz, and support for DDR5 memory. Prices typically range from $300 to $400 depending on generation and sales. Ryzen 7 excels at the do-everything-well workload, stream your gameplay while recording, edit 4K video timelines, render blender scenes, or compile code, all without your PC begging for mercy. It's the tier for streamers who need encoding headroom, video editors juggling multiple tracks, and enthusiasts who want their build to last 5 plus years without feeling outdated. The honest take? If you're purely gaming and not streaming or creating content, Ryzen 5 will serve you just as well. But if you multitask heavily or want that extra longevity, Ryzen 7 is where you stop compromising. Number 4. Ryzen 9 – The Beast Tier Ryzen 9 is AMD's top-of-the-line consumer CPU, packing 12 to 16 cores and 24 to 32 threads, with base clocks around 3.7 GHz and boost clocks hitting 4.9 to 5.0 GHz on most models. The first Ryzen 9 3900X launched in 2019, with 12 cores at $499, immediately making Intel's Core i9-9900K look overpriced. 
Then, AMD doubled down with the 3950X, 16 cores, $749. And suddenly, desktop users had CPU power that used to require $2,000 plus workstation chips. By the time Ryzen 9 5900X and 5950X arrived in 2020, AMD wasn't just competing with Intel. They were lapping them. Today's Ryzen 9 7900X, 7950X, 9900X, and 9950X continue delivering 12 to 16 cores with DDR5 support and boost clocks above 5.0 GHz. This is the processor for serious creators. 4K or 8K video editing, 3D rendering, animation, scientific simulations, or running multiple virtual machines at once. Imagine streaming your game, editing a video, and compiling code simultaneously. Ryzen 9 doesn't even flinch. It's basically the CPU equivalent of a multitasking octopus with rocket boosters. That said, it's overkill for pure gaming. Most games won't use more than 8 cores effectively, so buying Ryzen 9 just to play Fortnite or Cyberpunk is like hiring a team of chefs to make instant ramen. You'll get the power, but it's mostly unnecessary. Ryzen 9 is best for professional content creators, animators, 3D artists, and anyone juggling heavy workloads. For everyday users or gamers, it's impressive, but you're paying for cores you'll rarely fully use. Number 5. X3D Series 3D vCache X3D is AMD's gaming-focused Ryzen, the same CPU you know, but with a massive performance boost for games specifically. Think of it like this. Your regular CPU has a notebook where it stores information it needs quickly. X3D? It's got that same notebook, but now there's a second notebook stacked right on top of it with way more pages. That extra storage space, called cache, sits directly on the chip, which means games can grab the data they need almost instantly. Games constantly need the same textures, map layouts, and instructions. More cache means the CPU doesn't have to go searching through slower system memory as often, and that translates directly into higher frame rates. Here's where it gets interesting. Sometimes an X3D chip with fewer cores beats a bigger Ryzen 9 in gaming. A Ryzen 7 7800X3D with 8 cores can outpace a Ryzen 9 7900X with 12 cores in certain titles, all because of that extra cache doing the heavy lifting. You're paying a little extra, the so-called X3D tax, typically $50 to $100 more than non-X3D versions. But if smooth, high frame rate gaming is the goal, especially at 1080p or 1440p where your CPU matters most, it's worth every penny. X3D chips come in multiple tiers, 5800X3D, 7800X3D, 9800X3D, 9950X3D. While they might lag slightly behind in heavy productivity tasks like video editing compared to non-X3D chips, in games, they're like a sprinter on rocket shoes, fast, efficient, and built specifically for that one job. Number 6. APU G-Series – CPU plus Graphics in One APUs are AMD's answer for people who need a CPU and graphics in one chip. Think of it like a Swiss Army knife. Not the biggest hammer, not the fanciest screwdriver, but surprisingly handy when you don't want to carry the whole toolbox. The G in the model name, like 5600G, 5700G, 8700G, signals it has stronger integrated graphics than a standard Ryzen, so you can play games without immediately buying a dedicated GPU. On older AM4 chips like the 5600G or 5700G, the integrated Vega graphics could handle League of Legends, CSGO, or Rocket League at 60 plus frames per second on medium settings. Not breathtaking, but genuinely playable. The newer AM5 platform changed the game. Every Ryzen 7000 and 9000 chip includes a basic RDNA2 iGPU for display output. But G-series models like the 8700G pack significantly beefier graphics. Think RDNA3 architecture with enough power to run Fortnite at 1080p low settings. These chips shine in budget builds. HTPCs or compact PCs where space and cost are tight. You can run esports titles and older games at 1080p on low to medium settings, making them perfect for casual gamers or anyone who doesn't need ultra graphics. The real magic? You save money up front by skipping a graphics card. The upgrade path is what makes APUs smart. Spend $200 on a 5600G today, game on integrated graphics, then drop in a $250 RX 7600 or RTX 4060 six months later when prices drop or you save up. Suddenly, your $450 total system is punching well above its weight class. It's a practical, money-conscious choice, like buying a reliable car with a built-in GPS instead of paying extra for a fancy aftermarket system. Number 7. Ryzen Pro – The Office Tier Ryzen Pro is AMD's business-focused lineup. 
The processor's quietly keeping office computers running smoothly while IT teams sleep soundly at night. Performance-wise, they're very similar to regular Ryzen chips, but the difference lies in security and manageability. Hardware-level encryption, secure boot features, and memory protections make sure company data stays safe, even if someone accidentally spills coffee on the network or their laptop. ProChips also come with remote management tools, letting IT departments update, troubleshoot, or lock down machines without ever stepping foot in the office. It's like having a secret control panel that only the IT wizards can see. For most people, Ryzen Pro won't make a noticeable difference in gaming or creative work. You won't get faster frame rates or quicker renders. What you do get is peace of mind, stability, and long-term support in a business environment. In short, it exists. It's important for companies. But if you're building your personal rig, you can safely ignore this tier and spend your money on more cores, higher clocks, or a fancy GPU. Number 8. Threadripper. The workstation beast. Threadripper is where AMD goes full, why not, core counts that seem insane. 24, 32, 64, even up to 96 cores, all in a single chip. This isn't about gaming. This is for people whose computers need to work harder than most small businesses, rendering huge 3D scenes, crunching video projects, running multiple virtual machines, or compiling massive code bases. Threadripper does all of it without breaking a sweat. Threadripper CPUs don't use the standard AM4 or AM5 sockets. They need massive TRX40 or TRX50 motherboards with quad-channel or octa-channel memory support and enough PCIe lanes to connect multiple GPUs and NVMe drives simultaneously. Pricing? The Threadripper 7980X with 64 cores starts around $4,999. The flagship Threadripper Pro 7995WX with 96 cores, 10 grand just for the CPU. Add motherboard, RAM, cooling, and storage, and you're looking at $15,000 plus builds. But for studios rendering Pixar level animation, engineer firms running structural simulations, or developers compiling massive code bases, that 10 grand CPU saves $50,000 in labor costs annually. Time is money, and Threadripper buys time. Number 9. Ryzen Z Series – Handheld Gaming Heroes Ryzen Z Series chips are AMD's answer to handheld PC gaming, the brains behind devices like the Asus ROG Ally, Lenovo Legion Go, and other pocket-sized gaming rigs. These aren't desktop CPUs shrunk down. They're purpose-built to balance performance, power efficiency, and heat management in a small chassis. Within the Z Series, there are tiers. The Z1 is solid for smooth gaming on the go while the Z1 Extreme pushes frame rates higher and handles heavier titles. The Z1 Extreme packs 8 cores and 16 threads with Radeon 780M graphics, delivering enough power to run Elden Ring or Baldur's Gate 3 at 30 to 40 frames per second on medium settings. Impressive, considering the entire device fits in a backpack and runs on battery. Integrated RDNA graphics means you don't need a separate GPU, yet you can still enjoy real gaming performance, not just mini-game levels. These chips highlight a different kind of engineering priority than desktop CPUs. Every watt counts, and every millimeter of space matters. That's why you won't see them in DIY builds. They exist only in these pre-built handhelds. Number 10. Ryzen AI – The Future of Smart PCs Ryzen AI is AMD's leap into processors with a dedicated neural processing unit, or NPU. Basically, a tiny brain inside your CPU designed to handle AI tasks faster than a regular core ever could. They're about letting your PC do AI-powered things locally without relying entirely on the cloud. Currently, Ryzen AI shows up in the 8040 series, Hawkpoint, for desktops and Ryzen AI 300 series, Strixpoint, for laptops. The NPU can accelerate AI features in Windows, run local AI assistance, and speed up creative tools that generate images, audio, or video. Right now, the software ecosystem is catching up. Not every program can tap into the NPU yet, but as AI integration grows, these chips will only get more useful. Early adopters are the ones who will see the first real benefits, especially in AI-assisted workflows. And that's every AMD Ryzen processor, from the humble Ryzen 3 to the 96-core Threadripper monsters that render Hollywood movies. If you're ready to upgrade and want to skip the endless review rabbit hole, I've got an Amazon link in the description that takes you straight to the best-selling AMD processors. It's always updated with current prices and top-rated options. Now, here's the thing. You just learned about AMD's entire lineup. But if you want the full picture, you need to understand their rival. Intel's been in this game since 1993, and their CPU naming is just as confusing. Core i3, i5, i7, i9, Xeon, Celeron, and now Core Ultra. 
In the next video, we're breaking down every Intel processor generation so you can finally decide Team Red or Team Blue. Click the video on screen right now, and I'll see you there.